Hey guys, welcome back to Elvis Car Reviews. I hope that every single one of you is having a beautiful day. In today's video, we are going to talk about the Gen 1 S550 Mustang with the 5 liter Coyote engine. This car behind me is a 2015 Ford Mustang GT, 6 speed manual with a 5 liter V8, making 435 horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque. In this video, we are going to decide if in 2020 it is worth it to buy a 2015 Ford Mustang GT. <laughs> So this is a 2015 Ford Mustang GT in this color is called Orange Fury. Uh, they've discontinued uh, discontinued the color unfortunately. Um, this video is for those of you that uh, really have been looking into a Mustang but you're deciding if this is the right time to get a Mustang and which one to get. And again, deciding between getting the new Mustang 2018 uh, with the new 5.0 or getting this. So let's first walk around and I will tell you a little bit about the car. Like I mentioned in the intro, it has a 5 liter uh, V8 making 435 horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque. Comes with a 6 speed manual or 6 speed automatic, unlike the 2018 and up, which come with a 6 speed manual or 10 speed automatic. Uh, the car looks pretty great. I mean, still look very, very up to date, especially this one, which is uh, modified. It had some few uh, cosmetic modification to it. So pretty, uh, pretty nice looking vehicle. And this one is lowered as well, by the way. Pretty nice looking vehicle. Very, very modern looking. So if you are shopping for a uh, Mustang, one of the reasons to consider this is the price. Uh, while the 2018 is still in the upper 20, like tw I see a few listed the 27, 28, 29, and even you know uh, lower to mid 30s, this car uh, you can get a very good one between 20 and 25 thousand dollars. And believe me, for what you get, it's a very very good vehicle uh, between 20 and 25 thousand dollars. It's not super fast, but it's not slow either. It has a zero to 60, I believe of 4.5, if I'm not mistaken, or 4.3. Uh, you can easily look, it, look that up on Google. I never actually owned the S550 5.0, but uh, I've driven quite a few of them and uh, you know I've raced quite a few of them. So I know a lot about this car. And when this car was bone stock, I actually raced it uh, when I had my EcoBoost Mustang. So. Um, it, I know a lot of things about uh, about this vehicle, so it's a uh, very good, very good and very comfortable car to drive. Like I said, I used to own a 2016 EcoBoost Mustang, exact same body style, same everything, except the engine. Obviously, this comes with a 5 liter. Mine came with a 2.3 turbocharged. Um, it's a very modern looking vehicle. Like I said, very very worth the money. Again, those prices are for the US. I mean, if you live in the UAE or in Europe or something, this car might cost a little more. So, um, and to be honest, with what you can do to this car, you won't necessarily feel the need to upgrade to a 2018 unless and unless you want that 10 speed automatic because the 10 speed auto is actually a game changer. But, and I also like the front end of this vehicle much better than the 2018, even though the 2018 is lower and wider, but I like this one much better. Uh, the interior is pretty similar. The only difference with the uh, uh, 2018 and up is uh, you have the possibility of getting a digital dash. 
um, which again with this car you can actually order a digital dash and have it retrofitted into this car and it will work pretty pretty good this car being a 2015 came with sync 1 uh, sync 2 only was available i think from 2017 or 2016 i'm not too sure but um sync one is just a little slower than sync two and three so that's something to keep in mind uh but like i say 2015 to 2016 are about the same price 2017 is a little more depending on the mileage um if you want to get this though uh, it depends on what you're trying to do like if you really want to uh drive around have fun and really enjoy your vehicle then uh, get the six speed manual which this car has but if you are serious about drag racing and you are serious about racing i think the 6r80 is the better option if you want to go with this year and most people actually just get the 2018 to 2020 because of the um 10 speed auto which this uh, this model year doesn't get and this car actually is tuned has the uh, roush axle uh, uh cat back and then roush intake and also has it tuned by uh by lund i believe so this car is really uh you know it's 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 putting some work there i mean i've seen this car at race war hanging out with hellcats um you know from the get-go and then obviously toward the end of the line the hellcat will come flying by just because of the extra 300 horsepower or so it's making over this vehicle so if you are looking to buy your very first Mustang and you want it to be a S550 if you are on a budget um, this car is uh, perfect for you I mean like I said you can get a good one between 20 and 25 thousand dollars and uh, but if one of the reason why people go for the 2018 and up, like I said, is uh, because of the 10 speed auto, um, because of the slightly reworked 5.0 and uh, stuff like that. So this car, if you have, like I said, if you have a six speed auto with this and you're slapping a Whipple supercharger or a pro charger, this thing will be a monster. I guarantee you, it will be a monster. So at the end of the day, it comes down to personal preference. And because the, uh, must i mean ford will launch a mustang a new mustang pretty soon 2022 i believe is the year if you really really want a mustang i will slightly i mean actually i will heavily recommend you to get this one the first gen s550 because you won't spend that much and because when the 2022 mustang comes in if you want to trade it in you still have a very good option to do so uh, as opposed to getting a 2018 or 2020 uh, ford mustang gt now and then regret when in in a year or two actually i think they will launch it in 2021 and sell it as a 2022 model year if you don't believe me try to ask people who bought the 2010 ford mustang gt just to be told that uh, the year that followed 2011 they were getting another mustang with a five liter as opposed to a four six and with like a hundred more horsepower those people were pretty pretty pissed so uh like i said if you really really you absolutely have to have a mustang go with this one because you like i said you will spend less uh, and try to get one with less than 60 or 70 thousand miles this is a sports car it uh, made to be driven and a lot of people drive them like crazy so especially if you don't know who owned it before i will uh, highly recommend you to uh to kind of like i said uh make sure the of course do a pre-purchase inspection but make sure the mileage is uh is low enough uh, at least you will have some type of warranty still left or something like that on cars like this uh, so if you're looking for one like i said wait up either wait for the new one or get this one because just for the price twenty thousand dollars between 20 and 25 you'll get a great car a car like very nice looking vehicle very very modern and uh, you have pretty much bluetooth everything pretty much like you know you have a very even yes it's sync one but it still works so yes um if you, i will actually let you listen to the exhaust right now and uh, you will listen to the uh cat back exhaust our roush cat back exhaust sounds pretty pretty crazy
thank you guys for watching i hope you like this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you are stopping by for the first time do not forget to subscribe i will see you in the next upload <laughs>